Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a long exposure effect like this in the Sparky R Studio. And I will also show you how you can apply a lot to it. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this long exposure filter here in the Sparky R Studio. At first I will show you how to build the long exposure effect and then I will show you how you can add a lot to it. The first thing we have to do is to extract our camera texture from the camera element in the scene. So for this we go to our scene, click on the camera element, then go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. After we have done this we can find our camera texture in our assets panel. The next step is to create a material. So again go to the assets panel, click on the little plus and here select material. I will rename this material to camera. So now select the new camera material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. The next step is to go down to the shader properties under diffuse you will find texture. Here there is a little arrow next to it. Just click on it and a yellow camera patch will appear in the patch editor. The next step is also to create a camera texture patch in the patch editor. For this go to your assets panel and drag and drop the camera texture into the patch editor. So now we can start programming the filter in the patch editor. For this we need a few patches. So just follow me along and create the following patches. The first thing we need here is a mix patch. So go to add patch and search for mix. The next patch we need is a delay frame patch. So also for this search for delay frame and insert it. You will see this is a kind of special patch because this is a blue patch and it has no output. But we need an output for this. So we have to do a little trick because here we also need a receiver patch to make the delay frame patch work. After you have created this receiver patch you have to change the property of it. So for this go to the receiver patch and click on this little arrow and here select the delay frame. So now the delay frame and this receiver is connected. So now we need one last patch here and this is a shader render pass patch. So just search for it and insert it. So after we have inserted all the patches we can start um, yeah, to wire them up. So I will just arrange them so it is more easy to connect them. So the first connection we will do is the RGBA output of the camera texture which will be connected with the first frame input of the delay frame patch. Then this output, the RGBA output will also be connected with the first input of the mix patch. So the receiver, the delay frame receiver will be connected with the second um, mix input. So now the mix output will go to the shader input of the shader render pass. And the shader render pass output will be connected with the render pass input of the delay frame patch. And also this output will be connected with the camera with the camera patch, with the diffuse texture input. So almost done, but we have to yeah, set up our mix, mix patch correctly. So for this we have to change the alpha. I will ch change the alpha to 0 0.8. But you can play around because this will control the strength of the effect. So now we can't see anything because we haven't done anything in our scene yet. So for this we need a rectangle. So go to your scene, click on the plus and create a rectangle object. Spark AR will automatically create this canvas object with a rectangle inside. Select the rectangle object, go to the right hand side and here set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Then go down to materials, click on the plus and select the camera material. And now you will see that we have successfully created a long exposure effect here in the Spark AR Studio. Now I will show you how you can add a color LUT to it. For this we go again to our assets panel, click on the plus, select import and here select color LUT. Now just navigate 
to a color that you want to to import click on it and click on open so now you will find the color lot in your assets panel now just drag and drop the imported color lot to your patch editor spark ar will automatically create this color lot shader patch for us just connect the shader render pass output with the texture input of the color lot shader and then connect the output of the color lot shader with the diffuse texture input of the camera patch and now you have have also successfully added a lot to the long exposure effect so now you can play around with the mix property with the alpha property so when you set 0.9 the effect will be much stronger and when you set it down to 0.6 for example the effect will be a little bit weaker yeah so just play around and find the right option for your filter. So thanks for watching. I hope I could help you with this video. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it so you won't miss any new Sparky R tutorial here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.